know that sand can be made out of fish poop? Brianna Dignard here, and I am here at the beach to tell you all about the science of sand. The sand on the beach that you see all around you once started out as a giant boulder millions and millions of years ago. And over time, things like the wind or the water or even other living things took that giant boulder and broke it down into smaller and smaller pieces through a process called weathering. And then eventually, things again like living things, the wind or even the water took those tiny, tiny pieces and carried them or eroded them out to the beach you see here. If you scoop up a handful of sand at the beach, you'll notice that it's not all one color. And that has to do with the different materials the sand is made out of. So for example, these lighter tan pieces are mostly made out of quartz, because that is one of the most abundant materials in the Earth's surface. But there are other colors as well. So these darker tan pieces come from iron oxides or rusts. These black sand granules, and these can be very well seen in Icelandic black beaches, come from volcanic rocks that got broken down over time. And there are even pink sand beaches that are formed from the skeletons of teeny tiny ocean creatures called foraminiferans. And then finally, the famous white sand beaches of Hawaii, that's from parrotfish poop. The size and shape of sand granules also tell a huge story about what's going on on the beach. If you go to a beach where the sand is really rough and coarse and big, that beach probably has these really gigantic high energy waves that are constantly hitting the shoreline and creating and dropping off big pieces of rock. Whereas if you go to a beach that's got really tiny, softer, finer grains of sand, that beach probably has a lot smaller action waves going on, kind of similar to the waves that are going on today. This beach can get a good mixture of high energy and low energy waves, resulting in some sand being a lot bigger and some sand being a lot smaller. The size of sand grains can even tell you something about the state of the beach you're standing on. So for example, a shallower beach such as this is gonna result in smaller, finer sand granules, whereas if you go to a really, really steep beach that's probably really hard to climb up, you're going to have larger, coarser sand granules. The final part of the sand story has to do with sand shape. The rounder the sand is, the older the beach that it came from, because those rocks have been around the longest and have been broken down by the wind, the wave, living things, and weathered and eroded over time to form beautifully round sand granules. Thank you for watching this video, and next time you go to the beach, pick up a handful of sand and see what stories you can learn about the beach you're standing on. And speaking of beaches and parrotfish poop, did you know that parrotfish can actually produce up to 2,000 pounds of sand in one year? That is a lot of poop sand that gets to the beaches. So thank you again for watching this video. If you have any suggestions of content you'd like to see or any science questions, please feel free to comment them. Uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, share it with all of your friends, and keep it sciencey. These tiny ocean creatures called fora, oh, that's not even, for, no, it is fora, gosh dang it, it's a hard word to say. For, what is the other word I'm looking for? Smooth, I'm looking for smooth, I think. What? <laughs>